everybody, this is Nate coming to you from Palin Music Center down here in Southwest Missouri, and with me today is my very good friend, Mr. David Dove. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. David teaches lessons here at the store, but also plays with, I don't know, everybody <laughs> in the Midwest and far and beyond. Anyway, so I got David here because I wanted to take a look at some of these Ernie Ball Sterling guitars. I'll be honest with you, I felt like I kind of slept on these meaning I missed them. Do you remember when you discovered Led Zeppelin or somebody like, you know, yeah. like hipped you to Led Zeppelin? Yeah. Like you heard Stay Away to Have, and you're like, oh, it's okay. Then you heard Going to California or something. You're like, oh, right? And then you went down that deep dive of Led Zeppelin, the ocean, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. the pearls of Zeppelin. You got into it. That's how I feel on these Ernie Ball Sterlings, honestly, because there's so many great guitars. It's at a fantastic price point, and they play great. They sound great. Like Right now, this is the Luke that I'm playing, which is based off the Steve Lukather model, and it's two humbuckers, five-way switch, and it's got a boost. I'll show you here in a second, but what are you checking out? So I've got the Sterling Stingray, and this is just the classic bass. I mean, you've got all the funk, rock, and of country players who play yeah. this bass. And you've got the uh, nine volt active humbucker pickup uh, with a volume and three band EQ. Yeah, these guys do like the nine volt battery, which is very cool mm, because yeah. this boost feature in here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Do that little C minor thing we were just doing there just a second ago. Yeah. Here we go, one, two, ready, no boost. That's the neck pickup. Now I'm gonna turn on a little dirt from this Andy Timmons here. Same pickup. Now with the boost, same pickup, not changing nothing. A ton of sustain. Yeah, no, I really fatten up the tone and that's via this little nine volt battery. So, nine volt batteries keep them handy on you but i love it this oh, is a cool yeah so good absolutely Man, and one thing that i love um is this roasted maple neck both of our guitars roasted maple friends. roasted maple and it feels so good it does and i wish more guitars did this it's like having a really good hot dog you're like why isn't it always like this yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> right let's, let's do another couple all right, next up, we've got the Valentine Sterling, and then we gotta talk about this one first, because this is really cool. What do you have here? Yeah, I'm pretty pumped on it. So it's a Stingray, so you're familiar with the shape, but you might be thinking, what's different about it? Well, it's a short scale. It matches me really well. <laughs> but what I love short scales, because they retain a very consistent tone, even on the higher strings. Yeah. Um, and it's really comfortable in, in your hands. But this is what's wild, okay? Tell me. Can I show you? Do it! Okay, so check this out. So here's just... Right? Right. Now, just like your other guitar, mm -hmm. boom. Yeah. So, you know, this happens a lot to bass players. You're playing the show, guitar player is just taking all the notes. Which is right. Which <laughs> is wrong. And so, you know, you're just holding it down for everybody, supporting the whole group, and it's your time to shine a little bit, right. and guitar player won't end his solo. You click this in and... That is crazy. So that's, that's got a battery in it. Absolutely not. Check this out. See, this is blowing my mind right here. That is, that is. Because I generally play passive basses, unless right. I'm playing just a, a Stingray. This has no battery. And I don't know how they do this magic. Some sort of hoogie fiducia yeah, going on. I, that's all I can, it's gotta be that. Yeah. Now check this out. So okay. you're used to the three band active EQ, but yeah. like you said, no nine volt. So what is all this stuff? Right. Well, you got a tone. Okay, good old tone. Mm -hmm. You know, do what you want with it. Like a P bass, you'd have just a tone. Right, so boom, like, boom. as a for instance. But check this guy out. You can't just say that and not do like a light. Oh, okay, yeah, fine, okay, okay. okay. so <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Right. Hear that? It's a little more open. Right. Roll it back a little bit. Right. Yeah. And then you just want a really dark coffee. Dark right? coffee. Dark coffee. coffee. <laughs> yeah. So then, like, let's say, okay, you like the tone knob. You like what kind of you know sauce you can get out of it. But this guy right here, you hear that? Oh yeah, it's detented. I like you hear that. that? Yeah. So this is what's wild. 
you can actually activate the coils individually with this knob. So all the way back, you've got just the back coil, kind of like a jazz bass, so you're in single coil mode. Hear a little, little bit more yeah, of that yeah. bite nasally. In the middle, you've got all of them going. And then the front. That's really cool. Out I mean, of it's one pickup. Cool. Out, out of one pickup, you one got pickup. all this, all these options on sound and no battery. No battery. That's a mind blow. We need to look into what they're doing there. That's really yeah. cool. All right, so I've got the Valentine, which I've demoed these before. I really dig this guitar. This one's got a boost on it that is significant. Was that 20 dB? 12. 12 dB, yeah. which makes more sense mathematically. Anyway, <laughs> 20 dB would be like an atom bomb. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, let's do a little, uh, a little A minor G, you know, kind of jazzy thing, and oh. then we'll just kind of go through these tones here and see okay. what happens. That's a pretty great tone. Yeah, we could do a gig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next couple guitars, here we go. And Ernie Ball kind of does their stratty thing. Mm, That's yeah. the cutlass, right? I love the neck on this. I love it. It's, it's not quite 50s, right? Because I like a bigger neck anyway, right? But it's, it's, it's just unique unto itself. I absolutely love the neck on this. And it's roasted maple again, which mm, is a fave. So good. Humbucker single single. And then after that, it's all the usual suspects like you would expect in this cool kind of sob rock pink. Is it too early to start using that? Yeah. That's <laughs> anyway, great. Love you, John Mayer. Anyway, what do you got? So this is the Stingray um, body configuration, but now instead of one pickup, we've got two. Double. <laughs> so your party has more tone options. Yeah. So I'll show you the front just a little okay. bit. So here's more of that like so you got that, that like yeah, that, really nice. Yeah, that giant pillow that yes. every country guitar player loves to just curl up in. Yeah. So yeah. if you want a little more bite, just move this little toggle back. Boom. A little bit, or take a little bass out, a little more mid. Right in the middle, now you've got all pickups activated. And then as you go back, you're getting to split these coils down into a single coil so you can get that jazz bass or punch attack. So, yeah. These are super, super duper versatile. I can't even say it's how versatile they are. They're super <laughs> versatile right. instruments. Yeah. You know, and the thing about it is they also come in at a price point. Like, I mean, anybody can get in. This would be a fantastic first electric guitar or first bass. Yeah. Or if you're looking just to build the arsenal of instruments, mm. these are definitely worthy of your consideration. This is just a smattering and we, we don't have time to get to all of them, but there's some really cool guitars here. Seven string, as well as different artist models. Would love for you to come by and check them out. If you can't make it to the store down here in Springfield, Missouri, of course, visit us online at palinmusic.com or call us on the phone. You know we'd love to talk to you. 417-882-7000. We will see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you would hit the subscribe button, we will keep you in the loop with all new content that we upload. Also, if you're not already, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're posting new content all the time, and we want to stay connected with you. Palin Music at palinmusic.com.